Today you're gonna be watching me painting on random things from Ikea. I've painted on tons of things before, but never something from Ikea. So this is sorta new. Uncharted territory. Exciting stuff. I was just there the other day to get some more pots and pans, that kind of stuff. Subscribe. And I picked up a couple extra things along the way that I thought would look real creepy cute once I'm done customizing them. Make them more my style. I'm leaning towards modern spooky with this makeover, so there's not going to be a whole bunch of color, just a little bit. The first thing I'm going to be giving a makeover to is this tray. It's gray. It's kind of boring. Kind of blah. But not for long. Just wait till I'm through with it. It's one of those trays that you put on the coffee table and have candles and stuff on. Makes everything feel nice and cozy. But plot twist. It's actually not a tray at all. It's apparently a plant saucer. Huh? I didn't see a plant pot with it, hence I only got the saucer, which I didn't even know was a saucer. It's very smooth. It does have air bubbles, but that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Adds character. I thought it might mention the price on the sticker, but it doesn't. I think I got it for like six bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal for this lovely piece of stoneware. Wow. I pulled out some painter's tape. I'm painting up the edges. I don't want to get any paint on the sides. I want everything to look very clean, pristine. I want to keep the gray trim around the tray. I personally really like the gray. It's a nice color and it goes well with my aesthetic. My style. A lot of the decor around my apartment is gray. There's a lot of gray, black, and white. Tons of neutrals. Normally when I tape up the edges, I somehow still manage to get paint on the sides, but I still tape it up in case it helps in some way. Perfect. <laughs> So I'm painting the whole base white. It's looking streaky right now. It's gonna take some layering. I did use a hair dryer to speed up the process, which definitely helps things move along a bit faster. Normally I do a white base coat and then I layer on another color on top of it, but for this piece I'm actually going to have a lot of the white peeking through. So I need a solid white base, which I haven't achieved quite yet, but it's getting there. Just give it a second. All right, cool. That's as white as it's gonna get. I'm moving that aside for now. I have this twisty table. It like spins in a circle. Fascinating stuff. And I'm bringing back the tray back, just plopping that right on top. This way it'll be a little easier for me to maneuver it around while I'm painting. I'm not sketching anything out, just going straight in with the paint. I was feeling daring today. So like I said, I'm going for a modern spooky vibe. It's gonna be very similar to the jewelry box thing I made over, except no spiders. And the lines today aren't going to be as sharp. In fact, it's not gonna be a spider web at all. I liked that web design a lot, except for the blue spiders. That was a mistake, I admit it. Some of you guys were bold enough to to yell at me about that whole catastrophe of a design. And yeah, I agree. The spiders ruined the whole thing. Thank you for pointing that out. I really appreciated that feedback. Why, thank you. So this is my redemption piece. I'm going for more of a rounded swirl pattern today. I felt like that would go better with the round form of the tray. I don't know. It's kind of meant to be like a hypnotic swirl. I'm just roughly painting it on and then I'll go back and make changes and clean up as necessary. It's pretty simple, but that's kind of the beauty of modern spooky. It's meant to be more like decor. I wouldn't decorate my whole apartment with my derpy cartoony characters. That stuff is reserved for my living room only. I want to leave this out on my coffee table, so I don't want it to be anything too crazy. I still want it to have that spooky kind of vibe, just without all the googly eyes and messed up teeth and farts. Cornerstones of my art style. Cleaning up was a pain. I went in with paint and then later I even touched up things with the Posca pen. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but the Posca pen isn't the exact color match for the paint. It's not the exact shade of black. It's close. I think the reason you can see a difference is because the Posca pen is more of a matte, whereas the black paint I'm using is a glossy kind of paint. I'll fix it all in the end. I'm gonna make everything glossy so it'll all blend in. Don't worry. Let me do the worrying. I'm ripping off the tape, trying to keep things satisfying for you. There's a lot of touch-ups to do. I expected nothing less. It would have been much worse if I didn't use the tape though, so no regrets. I love painting swirls and stripes and checkers and stuff. They give me a spooky, creepy kind of feel. They look like they should be simple enough to paint, which they are, sort of. There's just always a lot of touch-ups and cleaning up involved. I wanted the swirls to look liquidy. I'm going back in and making them look a little warped, if that makes any sense. <laughs> 
I went around with acetone on the edges just to even them out. I wanted to drip resin on top of all this. I felt like that would be so cool, give it a nice glossy touch, but I don't have that much resin on hand. Also, I don't really know how to use resin and avoid air bubbles and all that, so I settled for glossy Mr. Super Clear instead. It's pretty much exactly what I thought it would look like. I'm not gonna use it as a plant pot saucer. I'm gonna use it as a tray since that's what I thought it was this whole time. Sticking to my original vision. I think it looks nice on my coffee table. Moving on. The next thing I picked up is this box of tone ads. Tone ad. By Henrik Prutz. I'm guessing that means owls. I don't know. I'll be given a makeover to these three tiki tone ads. They have a very interesting shape. They look very geometric. That's honestly why I picked them up. I love geometric kind of looking stuff, like geometric characters and things. I just love the shape. I think they already have a creepy look about them. They're heavy. They have some weight to them, similar to the tray. I think they're made of the exact same material. Ikea stone. Fancy stuff. That's fancy. I had no idea what to do with these tiki owls at first, but eventually I settled on the idea of making a family of owls. A dad, a mom, and a baby. How cute. I'm starting off with a dad. Since I want these to be modern spooky as well, they're gonna be mostly black and white with some pops of color. For the dad's face, I went in with orange, which in hindsight makes him look like a Halloween owl. But I'm okay with that. That's okay. Spooky season is just around the corner after all. It'll be Halloween before you know it. I went around the edges of his face with Pasca. There's not too much I can do to the eyes since they're already carved into there. I didn't add a pupil to the eyes. I wanted them to look creepy and soulless. But I did add some bushy eyebrows though. Each of the eyebrows have their own little features. For the dad owl, I have him wearing a suit. It's meant to be a striped suit. Normally for bigger stripes, I use tape to make them nice and even. But these are a lot smaller, so I had to freehand them, which as you can see, was not entirely working out for me. <laughs> I did look into it, and apparently you can buy pinstripe tape on Amazon. It's basically super thin tape that I can lay down to help me make perfect tiny pinstripes. I checked at Michael's and stuff, but they didn't have any. So for today, I'm just not doing any stripes. Maybe next time. So it's just a regular suit. Not as cool as pinstripes, but that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Instead, he's just gonna have some buttons, which is arguably almost just as cool. <laughs> No. I gave each owl their own little personality. It's understated, but it's there. I didn't want to put too much expression and risk having them become cartoony rather than modern spooky. It's a fine line I have to walk. The dad has kind of like a blah expression, like he's just trying to get through life one day at a time. Up next is Mama Tonad by Henrik Prutz. Here we go again. I'm just painting her all black. I wanted to keep things cohesive with the color scheme. I don't know what happened. Not sure if I accidentally deleted it. Honestly, not sure if I even turned the camera on for this part. Who knows? I usually don't lose any footage, so this is a pretty rare occurrence. But no worries, you didn't miss much. I basically just painted Mama Tonad's entire face. I tried to give her some clothes. I wanted her to look dressed, and that's not easy to do with this cylindrical tiki kind of shape these guys have. Because the dad is wearing a suit, I thought the mom could be wearing a dress. They're wearing very formal attire. It's a formal occasion. It's based off Wednesday's dress, with the little white collar thing. I wanted it to be, you know, creepy. <laughs> but instead it looks just like a white mustache. She stole the Pringle guy's look. How truly evil. <sighs> it's fine. Mama Tonad is a happy owl. She's smiling. If you couldn't tell. Good for you. It's hard for modern spooky tone ads to express themselves, but her eyes are smiling. And that's because, surprise, she has a baby. The last owl I'm painting is the baby of the family. He's the little tiny one. I started off the same as the others, just with a base coat of black. He's got a very skinny nose. My fat paintbrush could never be that precise. So I'm going in with Posca. Tricks of the trade. The baby's gonna be blue. He's got the same soulless eyes. Only difference is that his are welling up with tears. He cries a lot. He never shuts up. That's why the dad looks like that. Tell me what's wrong. Because he's a baby, of course he's wearing a diaper. A big, oversized diaper. I wanted their outfits to be black and white since, you know, I'm sticking to formal attire. It's not really formal, but how formal can a baby be? This is as close as it gets right here. It was fun going to Ikea and picking stuff out. They have so much random junk to choose from. Plus, it's just fun to walk around there. I hope you guys liked today's modern, spooky Ikea makeover. Please subscribe. Not for me, not for Lunius Maximus. Do it for the Tonehead family. Thank you.